Hello, uh, I'm Jane Porter. I am a student at the moment on London College Garden Design and Planting Design Diploma. Um, that's been halted for a little while. So um, I thought I would do one of these videos to show you around the bits and bobs I'm doing in my garden. My favourite design detail in my garden is my brick patio which I call my Johnny Cash Cadillac patio because I built it one piece at a time and it didn't cost me a dime. All the bricks came out of our house or I collected them in skips and I chipped all the cement off myself and uh, created this patio so we have somewhere really nice to sit at the top of the garden. On the patio is another little one of my favourite things which is an outdoor bath which in the summer I'm usually lounging in with a glass of wine in the evening but at the moment it's a makeshift greenhouse for my kids runner beans because I've put an old shed window over the top of it and that's working quite well. Another little thing I've made up here is an alpine area with a glass roof so they can get all the sun and heat they need without the moisture. Last year we did some work on the garden and we built this pergola which um, isn't yet covered in plants but I can't wait for that to happen. Um, I've got an actinidia which will come up over it, I've got a honeysuckle over there, I've got a grapevine coming up over here, a boscoop glory and then there's a huge rambling Paul's Himalayan musk rose that comes over it there which will give us a lovely bit of screening. Um, this is a new paved area which I got from um, all bits left over from my neighbour's garden which we've paved this with and then this part of it is um, quarry tiles left over from a client's job and some beautiful backsteen bricks that I've also reused. In the gaps I've planted creeping thyme so hopefully that will make it look like it's been here forever and also um, give that lovely scent. This is another new thing in the garden. I've put the compost heap in the ground. I had a wooden crate left over from a client's job and I've sunk it into the ground and then made a hinged lid with some old scaffold. So we're filling that up with raw food waste from the kitchen. Hopefully that will work. And then the last bit of the garden that's new and we're really hoping to use this summer a lot more is this seating area with a pond where we will get to catch the last bit of this the pond's a bit low I've got to fill that up and we've got some frog spawn where is it oh yes and uh, we're gonna sit here and this is where we read stories to the kids at bedtime because it catches the end sun in the evenings and there I've got my favorite Acer um, orange dream and also some papyrus that I got from my auntie's garden from Guernsey. And here's the veg patch, which um, moves me on to jobs during isolation. Um, the kids and I have um, planted this up. Originally, I just had it with kale and cyanara because they're the prettiest, but now we might need food to actually grow in the garden. So we've got some sorrel because that's what my kids like, some mm, carrots, and some spinach and then this bed over here is all berries we've got currants amelanchia japanese wineberry more currants and also strawberries all the way along the front so the reason it's covered in cardboard is because the local cats think it's their very own toilet another isolation project we've got on the go at the moment is to use these offcuts that I got from a client's house to drill holes in and make a bee hotel. We got this rather posh one for Christmas that you can look inside and see the solitary bees making their little nests and that's why it's the bee houses of parliament um, but I thought we could also make them out of all these sleeper offcuts so each day we're just doing a few more holes along this wall where I've stacked the offcuts. Here is where I plan to do a mini meadow. We've got um, all these grasses in bags that were free at the garden centre from X Display. So I'm going to put those in as well as some Bryzomedia 
some nigella some papa verdubium and i've got some ami that i'm going to put in there as well so just a little mix a little experiment because i find that choosing the mix for a wildflower or a you know annual or perennial meadow whichever can be quite um, daunting so I've just gone with a really limited palette of my favourites so I'm hoping that will look gorgeous and as for flowers in the garden at the moment I've got this white honesty which is from a seed that I managed to nick off the table during my RHS course which is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait for those seed heads to come out I've got this amazing hellebore which I really um, treated myself to at the garden centre last week or the week before it's called a uh, the Cressida strain and they're just gorgeous they're really tall and elegant so I'm super into those the other flower I've got going on is of course beautiful forget-me-nots mixed in with some Brisa Maxima there and what's meant to be some Talia Narcissus but I don't think they are wondering where I did plant the Talia and last of all my absolute favourite has to be these tulip ballerinas they are absolutely gorgeous and they're bringing me so much joy right now and just to finish up just to say some of my favourite gardening books this one with Pete Udolf I use almost as a reference book to check on the reliability of so many plants that I use because the detail in it is brilliant. This book I absolutely adore, um, it's just incredible to read about a garden that is made in a completely different way than almost any of the others I read about. This book I can't wait to read, I asked for it for Christmas and I haven't tucked into it yet but um, I absolutely can't wait to get into that one. I'm loving this almanac. It's actually not the one I meant to buy, but still, I really enjoy that I only need to read a month at a time. I know it's a year late, but um, I really enjoy doing that. It really helps me feel like I'm able to be a bit more in tune with nature, which is something I want to bring much more into my gardening. This one, I mean, what can I say? Look at that outfit. That's all you need from that. Uh, this one is absolutely brilliant, um, which really helped me on my course, and it's just one of the sort of more academic ones, but I absolutely love this book. So, uh, thank you very much. I hope that it's been interesting to look around my um, garden and all its bits and pieces. I absolutely love watching everyone else's videos, so I look forward to seeing more. Bye-bye.